Let's talk about jigsaw structures. All right, we find ourselves in Minecraft again, and this time we will talk about jigsaw structures. A very interesting topic indeed, and this is needed because if you have structures that are bigger than 48 by 48 by 48, then what? Because what is going to happen is you will need these jigsaw st structure blocks, and they basically connect two different structures together with each other. So what we're first of all going to do is we're just going to get those out of here, and then we're going to look at these well, these two halves of one structure together. And we're going to make it so that this is the main storage platform. And then this is one that changes. So here we will have diamond in this case. And then we'll also make it available so that there is going to be iron and then gold, for example. That should be, or emerald. Let's do emerald, iron, and diamond here. And then when this spawns, it is going to choose, you know, depending on a chance, whether or not it's going to spawn with diamond over here, with iron or with emerald. That is one thing that you can do with jigsaw structure blocks. And what we're going to do is once again, first of all, we're going to give ourselves once again, the structure block. And then we will also give ourselves the jigsaw, jigsaw block right here. There you go. So now we have both of them. We want to mark the outline of this structure again. So let's just do this. I'm going to go right here. Let's go up to here and we should be I think that the corner should be right there. So let's see if this checks out. We're going to call this tutorial mod colon storage underscore platform. Yes. And this is going to be corner mode done. I think that that should, should work fine. And then here, the same, just in save mode, detect. And there we go. We have the entirety thing in there. That's great. And then let's get the other one here as well. Once we have the, the corner set up, and we're going to have this a little bit easier anyway. But then we can do this in diamond underscore storage platform, corner mode once again. That should be fine. And then here, we're just going to make sure that this is in the correct height as well. Should be right here. Yep, one higher up. So this is now going to be save mode to detect this as well. And that's not quite what I had in mind over here. That is, oh, because I didn't change the name. Aha, look at this. So this is actually diamond storage underscore storage platform detect it now and now there we go now it is the correct one and has everything inside of it so we could already save this but of course now they are not connected with each other and to connect them we need to use the jigsaw blocks so what do you need to do i mean in this case i'm just going to try to set them down in the middle over here so you need to set them down so that the arrows point to each other so you can see this jigsaw block is now only in this diamond structure Right? And then this one is only in our main structure. Now you need to actually right click the structure blocks and fill in, well, certain fields over here. Now we're going to start with the secondary one, which is this one for the diamond platform. And this just needs a name. So this is going to be tutorial mod colon side underscore platform. Now this actually, uh, it doesn't need to be referenced anywhere except for the main block right here. So this is the only where, where this needs to be placed in the target name. Very important. Let's do done for the time being. And then we also need to define the target pool. Also very important. This is going to be tutorial mod colon storage underscore platform platform. And we're going to do slash site underscore pool. And the general idea is that this is now going to look for a side pool JSON file in the template pool storage platform folder. And what's going to happen is that this will then point to basically one of the three different variants over here of the site platform. That's the general idea. And now with those jigsaw blocks in there, we can now save this. So let's just go right here and we're going to save this one. And then I'm going to go here, save this one as well. And now I'll just replace this with iron and then we'll save this as well. All right, so here we are now replaced with iron in this case. And well, I mean, once again, we're just going to go here and we'll just change this to the iron underscore storage platform. Now, I'm actually unsure if we really need to change this one as well. But, you know, just in case, let's just ch change this as well. And then let's just go in here and then iron storage platform. Save this as well. There you go. And now we'll replace it with emerald. And then we have three different variants. All right, and there we go. Now we have this win with emerald. And once again, we're just going to go to both of the structure blocks over here. Emerald. There you go. We're just going to copy this. That's going to be fine. Do the same thing here on the the corner and then we're just going to save this and there we go now we have all the structures saved so basically three nbt files for the variant over here 
and then one NBT file for the main structure platform. So let's switch back to IntelliJ and add all of the JSON files, all of that craziness. All right, the first thing we need to do, of course, is once again, go to our run folder saves and then in whatever world you were in, get the NBT files. So we have the diamond storage platform, Emerald and Iron, as well as the normal storage one. So we're just gonna select all of them and press Control C, go all the way down to our data folder, tutorial mode structures, and then paste them in. There we go. Now we have our NBT files here. And then what we're gonna need is some more JSON files. Now the tag over here, let's call this the storage underscore platform JSON, has the same tag right here. So it's going to do the same thing, you know, basically denotes what biomes this particular structure can spawn in. So nothing else that we need to worry about really. When it comes to the world gen structure over here, once again, storage platform, this simply points to a start pool once again. We're gonna create that in just a moment in the template pool folder, in the template pool folder and the rest pretty much is almost the same thing as the count house. So there's nothing different right here. When it comes to the structure set, let's see if there's anything different right there. Not really. We have a different salt over here. The spacing and the separation is a little bit different, but overall it just simply still points back to a structure that is the structure JSON right here. Now where it really differs is in the template pool because this is going to have two different JSON files right here. So this is in a folder called storage underscore platform. And the first thing we have is the start pool. This is the same idea that we have in the count house where, well, this just refers back to itself. And then this refers back to the NBT file right here. Now this is all fine, this is all great. However, they also have the side pool JSON file. Now this one is referenced in the main jigsaw block, if you remember, and this now references three different elements. The iron storage platform, the emerald storage platform, and the diamond storage platform. You can see they have different weights, basically 50% chance of the iron one spawning, 30% chance of the emerald one spawning, and 20% chance of the diamond one spawning. Very interesting indeed, and that is literally all that we have to do in this instance here. So you can see this is a way to, well, basically add a variant in this case, if you have inside of the iron storage platform, for example. If you had another jigsaw block there and you wanted to do something else, do keep in mind that in the in the structure JSON file, this size right here, you can increase this if you have, you know, multiple jigsaw blocks inside. You know, in our case, we only have a main one and a side one, and maybe you have another side one and another side one and another side one, then you want to increase this until you basically have, well, the length of the branch as it says right here. But crazily enough, this is actually everything that we need to do for a jigsaw structure to spawn as well. So let's create a new world and see if our structure spawns. All right, we found ourselves in Minecraft and there we go. We already have one of our storage platforms spawning here, this time with iron. Well, we can either, well, fly through the world and try and find another one, but I'm pretty sure that they should actually not be spawning too far away. So we even... So there we go. We already got one with emerald in this case. So absolutely no worries. We can see that basically the different, well, the different types of jigsaw blocks do work totally fine. So that's awesome. Let's just like fly further away and let's see if we can can't find another one, maybe one more. And let's see, maybe we get lucky and it's going to be diamond. That would be pretty awesome indeed. No, it's emerald again, but that's going to be okay. So you can basically see that everything here works totally fine. We have a jigsaw structure. Very awesome indeed. And that's how easy it can be to use jigsaw structures. As always, of course, the NBT files as well as the JSON files are linked in the description below. But that's going to be it for this tutorial right here. Hope you found this useful and you learned something new and I'll see you all in the next tutorial. So, yeah.